What's going on everybody? This is OK Hip Hop and I'm going to show you how I make a beat. All right, so first things first, let's just play the beat. All right, so first thing that I did was I got the sample and I got this sample. It's a Chinese folk song from uh, from Tracklib. Here it is. So that's the sample. So one thing that I like to do is um, I like to do this gate effect where it sounds like it's coming in and out over and over again. So what I just did was hit this little thing, this top left wave file, waveform over here, go to automate, hit volume, and then you get this, make it a little bit longer. Uh, I bring it in to about a third of the first bar and then I you know, right click and I make a uh, thing to get it to stop. So when it's up, the volume's all the way up. When it goes down, it stops. And so uh, I just copy that over and over again. Oh, <clears throat> come on. So I just copy this over and over again. It'll just give me that gate effect. And this isn't exactly how it sounds. So I always like to like mess with it. Like I'll slip it by pressing s and then hold alt so i can like do it that way without it snapping and um and i also like to move this over so that it hits like the one like the uh the beginning of each bar so that's where the space is so it's like and I also move this over and you know it's a, it's a lot of like trial and error it's a lot of like oh what sounds good and with the new version of FL FL 20 you go to consolidate track you can do this another way if you still have 11 but or 12 I like to do do it this way uh, start from song and it'll consolidate the track for you you hit start and then you have it here and you just delete this and you just have it forever you know you don't have to worry about keeping that automation those automation files going it kind of gets cumbersome because they're all individual <laughs> And so that's where I get this from. That's where I get, you know, this whole. So the next thing I want to talk about is how I did the drums. I got the drums from this sample pack by this producer that I know named uh, 212. He does, if you look to the right here, uh, you get it from kitsohart.com and it's called Tunnel Vision Kit. And I, he has two volumes, volume one volume two i think this one is from volume two if i'm not mistaken so what are they called kick four Let me see. so kick that's that snare snare two simple another trick that i like to do is i like to have the hi-hat loops he has all of these hi-hats that are just they're made for trap beats I think I would use hi-hat loop five. I have hi-hat loop five.
and I find where you know I just count to I count the eight bars so you know let's just do it again just for practice so it's like two three four one two three four two two three four two two three four and right there that's how, that's when you know it's like about to loop again so I cut it there I uh, time stretch it by pressing this button or hitting shift M and I move it over once again I'm holding alt so that it doesn't snap because if I just did it without holding alt it'll it'll snap and it won't be you know I kind of like having the freedom to put it where I want it you know I make sure it's I play it with the metronome make sure it's good when I put it with the beat I double it so it's like a half time so instead of it being like it's it's like this once again, shift M to do time stretch, and it's like that. And I also pitch it down, because right now it sounds a little like weird, because I left the pitch all the way up, or, or normal. So I like to put this down like a couple of notches so that it still has like, it has like a, like a slowed down sound. Just the, it just sounds better to me. And so, you know, then I zoom in and then I, uh, you know, hold alt again and I put it off the grid just a little bit, like maybe halfway between these two lines so that, you know, it gets, gives me that like extra bounce. So it's like, and you know, if you play with the beat. So yeah, the reason I do that is because if you put it too much on the grid, if you put it like like it's perfect, like okay, it's like quantized, then it sounds like yeah, it, it, is, it doesn't sound as good, you know. But, and it still it sounds okay, but you know when I do it this way, I like it's the it has like a little bit more of a bounce, you know. It's just just uh, nudging the hi hats can really make a difference, so. Those are the drums. That's how I do my drums mostly. You know, programming is simple. You know, just uh, and you know, snare. And you know, the hi hats I just showed you. So that's that's how I program the drums. Next thing I wanted to show you guys was um, how I do my 808s. One thing that's my like favorite thing to do is to put bass lines in and it's just like it's just always like it's kind of like always the best. Just it just gives it that extra. If you're familiar with FL Studio, you know, you have your regular ones like where you can put it wherever you want and then you have bass, you have the slide button, you press S and when you press S, this little triangle appears, you know, and it'll all, it's, it just means it's on. Again, I like to do the, you hold alt so that you have more freedom of where you want to put it. And, you know, you could put it on the grid, like this one is kind of, that still sounds cool, but I like the way that I had it, I like to, it's just, it was just personal preference at that point. Like this beat wasn't supposed to be something that was wrapped on. It was just supposed to be for promo for this beat battle in New York City called the True Masters. Uh, the way that they promote it, it was like a lot of kung fu tournament style, like people fighting, like it's all kung fu kung fu flicks and all st stuff like that like that was the theme of the battle i wanted to make something you know because i was going to be in it because i was in it i wanted to like make something to kind of build the hype that still gave off that feel so that's why i chose this chinese sample and you know it just sounds like you know a battle is about to happen you know two people <laughs> about to fight since this wasn't something that i was gonna like sell like somebody wanted to like rap on it I ended up finding this uh, this acapella of um, 
Method Man's PLO style. And so I, I pitched it down and I time stretched it. And you know, this is, you know, I, coming from the 36 chamber, bang, coming from the 36 chamber, anger. And um, it just worked perfectly. Once again, it's off the grid. It all depends on how much you want it, off the grid you want it to be. But if I put it like perfectly on the grid, it's like coming from the 36 chamber, it's, it's not that, that's not where you want it to be. But like, coming from the 36 chamber, bang, coming from the 36 chamber. And then what I did was, you know, I ended up uh, pitching this one up. And, you know, I duplicated it and la layered it and took the most of the low end so that it fit nicely within. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned a lot. I appreciate you guys following me. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. Meet me down in the comments. I'll be there. Let me know uh, what kind of tutorials you want to see, which beat. If there's a beat that you like, you want to know how I made it, just let me know. And be sure to like and subscribe this video if you got any value from this. And once again, I appreciate all you guys and you have a good day. All right.